please be sure to subscribe to the channel to update the fastest and most accurate news. Hello everyone, welcome back to my High Celebrities News channel, the story for today is Drew Barrymore has bowed to pressure from social media critics and issued an apology for comments that she made about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard defamation trial, which she described as one layer of crazy and a seven-layer dip of insanity. The 47-year-old divided opinion last week when she shared her thoughts on the ongoing, high-profile trial between the former couple, which has included several accusations of domestic abuse, but also a number of bizarre moments, including a former doorman for Depp and Heard vaping during his film's deposition, and the Pirates of the Caribbean actor giggling over a mention of his penis. Still, when Barrymore voiced her opinion about the court case, she was met with a bitter backlash online, where critics accused her of displaying a lack of empathy towards victims of abuse and of making light of such a serious subject. It's like one layer of crazy, it's a seven-layer dip of insanity, the actress-turned-talk show host said of the trial. I know that these are two people's real lives and I know what it's like to have your life put out in public. I understand all the feelings, but they are actually offering up this information. Her comments sparked a bitter debate on social media, with some users blasting Barrymore, while others voiced agreement with her take on the controversial topic. Despite the mixed reactions however, the CBS talk show host bent to the pressure from her critics, on Sunday issuing a mea culpa on Instagram, where she apologized for any offense caused and promised to turn the backlash into a teachable moment. It has come to my attention that I have offended people with making light of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and for that I just want to deeply apologize and appreciate everyone who spoke out because this can be a teachable moment for me and how I move forward and how I conduct myself, she said in the one minute clip. I can be a more thoughtful and better person moving forward because all I want to do is be a good person and I very much appreciate the depth of this and I will grow and change from it, and I thank everyone for helping me grow along the way and teaching me. Thank you. Ironically, Barrymore's public apology has sparked all the more controversy on Twitter, with dozens of users insisting that she was not in the wrong and shouldn't have had to say sorry for offering up her thoughts on what has already been an incredibly controversial trial. Drew Barrymore having to apologizing for saying the Depp Heard trial is crazy is really stupid and a waste, one Twitter user commented. People need to stop nitpicking opinions and finding things to be upset about. It is a wild trial with lots of details that are eye-opening. And another accused the internet of hypocrisy, tweeting, the internet, this trial is crazy. Drew Barrymore, this trial is layers of crazy, the internet, that's insensitive Drew. Was she not allowed to comment on the hashtag Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial at all? Why not? Everyone else is, one person chimed in. Drew Barrymore say what you want to say, no one has the right to suppress your voice. The trial is crazy, a lot has come out, domestic violence, is a serious thing. Let's keep listening. Others accused Barrymore of bowing to pressure and playing it safe so as not to jeopardize her career, with one person writing, Drew Barrymore is just being safe because she cares so much about what people think about her product of being too Hollywood, I want to see someone brave enough to stand on what they say. It's normal to look at this and say this is crazy. The trial between Depp and Heard, which started on April 11th and is set to last another three weeks, has so far seen the Pirates of the Caribbean actor accuse his former spouse of domestic abuse during his four days of testimony on the stand. On Monday, Depp's security guard also claimed that he once saw Heard strike her then-partner with a closed fist during an explosive fight at the former couple's L.A. penthouse. Travis McGiven, testifying via live video link, described how fights between the pair escalated in March 2015, when Depp and Heard returned from Australia, and how he was forced to intervene when one particular argument turned physical. Depp is currently suing Heard for $50 million, claiming she defamed him and ruined his career after penning a 2018 Washington Post article in which she described herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse, without naming her ex-husband. Heard is countersuing for $100 million, and after three weeks of sitting silently in the courtroom during Depp's testimony, she is preparing to start her fight back when court resumes next week after a day off today. Insiders told Deadline she could take to the stand as soon as Monday, unless a major revelation comes out during the closing statements in Depp's case. 
A source said, it's hard to see how Amber won't prove to be a highly effective weapon against death in her own advocacy. Regardless of how they have tried to characterize her, she has been nothing but well composed and pretty conservative in court without having said a word. Heard was not a party and did not take the stand in Depp's 2020 libel claim against The Sun in the UK, which he lost. The trial in the Fairfax County Courthouse runs Monday to Thursday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and is set to conclude on May 19. Judge Penny Ascarate has a pre-scheduled conference from May 9 to 12 when the trial will pause for a week. Depp and Heard began dating in 2012 and were married in a civil ceremony in February 2015. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.